Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in Sunday morning, early Sunday morning here on the West Coast, 9.39 a.m. on September 29th, 2019. Got a pretty good-sized earthquake coming into the South America region. This uh, specific earthquake right here, the 6.8, occurring near the Chile region. Uh, pretty good-sized quake there. It's been uh, just one of many that we have seen over the last day or so. Uh, as far as significant-sized quakes here, uh, yesterday we had a 6.2 and a couple aftershocks over there in the Philippine uh, Philippines region. But right now, most recent quake is this 6.8, like I've mentioned, occurring near the Chile region. It is occurring uh, in an area where we can see a, a much larger magnitude quake. Um, so hopefully this isn't a uh, some type of force shaker uh, in that terms. So we'll go ahead and pull up uh, a window here so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I always seem to have some issues with this thing right here, but uh, that's okay. We'll get it going here. Hopefully everyone out there is having a, a pretty good day out there. It's Sunday. One second here, browser. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to watch uh, uh, further activity on this uh, on this part of the world. Following that 6.8, like I say, uh, Chile region has some uh, some history of some very large quakes occurring over the past, you know, over over history, and it's actually pretty often too. Uh, so let's go down here to the 6.8 magnitude here. It's kind of a, let's see if I can switch this um, over to the terrain right there. Zoom in a tad bit. Uh, you got Argentina, the big country over here to the east. Chile over here to the west, right along that uh, subduction area is where this uh, earthquake took place. Offshore just a tad bit. Go ahead and check out the information on this earthquake here. I don't think there's going to be any type of tsunami statement, but I do like to read up on it. Uh, so 6.8. Uh, let's see here. It looks like about about 70 kilometers or so below the surface. As far as tsunami information goes, we can go ahead and check that real quick as well. Uh, looks like everything is green for the most part here. Uh, which is a good sign, of course. I do want to pull up a uh, different window here when it comes to the tsunami statements. Let's see if I can uh, show you guys this here real quick. I don't think there's going to be one, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. <clears throat> So right now, no, uh, no tsunami statement even on that one. Um, not even updating yet, I guess. Still shows uh, an event from wow, from a long time ago. That's kind of strange. I wonder why that's not uh, updating there. Way back in March. I wonder if uh, I wonder if these guys stopped uh, stopped updating on there. Huh. Anyway, so yeah. Um, as far as the other one goes, too, it's uh, no tsunami statement. But I normally use that one that uh, I just showed you guys, and it didn't look like it. Didn't look like it updated at all. Of course, now on this side, I am getting it updated, but uh, I don't see anything on the uh, chili quake that happened right now. At least on that page. So anyway, folks, um, 
no uh, no tsunami statement with this thing. There might be some localized uh, increase in waves over there. A couple sites do have this listed as a 6.6, .6, while others have it set at a 6.9. Uh, they're stating persons along coastal areas near the earthquake should be observant and exercise normal caution. Otherwise, no action is required. <clears throat> so everything, like I said, looks pretty good. Anyway, yeah, I'm getting a few stations here not being able to pull up, uh, at least on my end here. Uh, let's see here. So anyway, yeah, folks, uh, looks pretty clear uh, for the most part. Uh, like I said, some of the P waves are now showing up. From that 6.8, uh, just on a couple of stations there, as you can see, uh, New Guinea, and I'm sure it will show up on some others as well. And looks like uh, another earthquake just hitting there, 4.9 further in a different direction of the uh, of that 6.8, way over here on the other side of the globe. So anyway, definitely a lot of activity um, occurring over the last couple of days or so, and more recently. Uh, last 12 hours or so, or so with the uh, activity in the Philippines as well. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, Earthquake Live 3D stream is still running. Uh, it's always running 24-7 uh, with live data and the Earthquake 3D globe as well. And uh, I'm trying to jump in and do updates as much as I possibly can, especially when it comes to the larger quakes here. Looks like another one coming into the Mendocino area. If you guys check that out right there, that's just pretty close to me I'm not feeling any type of earthquake but it looks like it may be something uh, definitely very localized there <clears throat> near the Mendocino California region those are not P waves showing up these are this is definitely a direct earthquake here in Northern California but uh, how big I don't know yet uh, you'll see it coming around the uh, scroll line once again Uh, this one down here. Well, let's see here. Maybe I might want to speed that thing up a little bit. Kind of slow. So anyway, it's this one right down here, Mendocino, California. And uh, pretty sick. It's hard to say on this one. It's localized and very sharp. So that could be somewhere around the three or four, I'm guessing, here in California. Um, possibly. I'm looking on the California map, see a 2.3, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit larger than that. Anyway, I will get back to you folks a little bit later on if I find out that Quake's bigger than that. So for now, have a good day, everyone. Stay safe out there. Looks like earthquake activity is on the ramp, ramp up right now. And um, yeah, just be prepared anywhere you're at out there. Stay safe, everyone. Have a Great Sunday. Peace.